You know, one of the funniest things about Americans is that they always claim to be fighting something, right? Either fighting for something or fighting against something. But I have a simple question. Why do you fight? Why do you engage in any type of war, whether it's social, social political, some type of activism or an actual physical violent war? What is the purpose of fighting for or against something? You fight today so that you can have peace tomorrow. You fight against those that fight with you or you fight against those that try to oppress or, or hold you down. And these are legitimate reasons to fight. But if the goal of the fight is not seeking peace, then you shouldn't be fighting. Feminism has been around for about 60 years, right? Running rampant. And you still have women claiming that they are fighting for women's rights? Exactly what right does a man have that a woman doesn't have in America? And tell me how long it's been since these, this, this claim that, that women have that they are fighting for their rights, of fighting for equality. Tell me how long has it been since there was no, no need for this fight? Why do you think they keep on coming up with new things to fight for? Why do you think they came up with the trans thing and diversity, equity, and inclusion and all these things? They keep moving the goalposts because in reality, that feminist fight is long over. There is nothing a man can do in America that a woman can't do in America. Sure, there are certain jobs that require a certain degree of strength that women are just not suited for, but that's not about holding them back. And sure, up until recently, the military didn't want women on the front line but the women fought to have that because they said that wasn't treating them fairly, which I don't know why. I can't figure out why in the hell would a woman want to go into combat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's, it's insane, you know? And it's insane for any country to send their women into combat. But lo and behold, women fought for that because, you know, they say it's equality. So over time, they've been, they've been looking for anything to complain about to claim that women aren't treated equally. The truth is, the feminist fight is gone. The red pill. The red pill has been around, what, 15 years. And men are still complaining about the same things. I mean, I don't see what's the point of making videos about women, especially black men. If you felt like black women were being adversarial towards you or antagonistic towards you, you oppose that, you repel that, because that is the universal law of resistance. You naturally oppose that. But the reason why you oppose it is to find peace. So you, you don't oppose it so that you can go on an attack and do video after video after video after video just gossiping about the shortcomings of women. That is not how you fight a war. That's gossip. That's girly stuff. You fight to find peace. When I say that I move like a boxer, right, that I protect myself at all times, that's to find peace. When I say that I cut people out of my life as soon as I see certain characteristics and, and traits or whatever, certain idealistic leanings that they have, once I see them, I cut them out of my life, right? That's to maintain peace. I'm not out here looking to clash with anybody over what they believe. I'm not gonna sit there and engage in arguments and heated debates over with you over what you believe because I don't really give a damn about what you believe. My thing is, I don't want you trying to impose your beliefs on me. So I will push back on it and cut you out my life so that I can maintain peace. The problem with you brothers is that y'all not seeking peace in this whole gender thing. Y'all not seeking peace. Y'all, y'all seeking chaos. Why don't you just walk away? Why don't you just sever ties with the people that you find to be disagreeable with you and just go your own way do your own thing why not do that because you're a devil you're not seeking peace you're causing chaos you're contributing to the dysfunctions of society and a real man would never do that a real man only engage in confrontation so that he can have peace tomorrow because today is already jacked up when you enter, once you have 
strife and stress. That's today. That's the now. So the now is over. The only thing you could do right now is fight. So you fight. So you oppose. So you resist. So you push back. But the reason why you do this is so that you can have peace tomorrow. So that you don't have to fight tomorrow. So that you don't have to oppose and, uh, and, and resist tomorrow. You do it right now. So I'm going to go back to the original question. What's the purpose of all this stuff, my brothers? What y'all doing is contributing to, to the dysfunctions of society. You're not seeking out a peaceful solution because if you were, you wouldn't be still fighting 15 years later, man. Look, bro, you, 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 you can't make women do what you want them to do. You can't make them be how you want them to be. All you can do is find women that are more suited, that are better suited for you. You can't, you can't rag on black women all day and then still expect black women to want to change to cater to you when they're not going to do it because there's a fundamental difference in the way they view us versus the way we view them. Or maybe it's the same, dysfunctional. Maybe it's the same uh, 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 error that we make in the way we see them that they see us. Whatever the case may be, we're taught too much intra-hatred for this to change. We're taught to hate ourselves a bit too much for this to change. So because this is the reality that we live in, our relationship is way too volatile and too dysfunctional and too hostile to ever expect anything to change today. And the only thing you can do when you're dealing with a virtual war that's not really a, a physical violent war. It's disengage. That is the answer. You disengage. You stop talking about them. You stop commenting on them. And I'm going to comment. I'm, I'm going to start doing more videos reacting to black women because I'm going to show y'all that it's pointless. That all of this energy and time y'all put into this battle with these women is pointless. I'm going to prove it to you. It is a waste of time. You have to disengage and go live your life in peace. Think about it. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Dog. Come on.